So I had a few folks ask me um, when I was out and about recently um, talking about some of the changes, um, had asked me about some of the changes in Mark Edit and what I meant when I said that uh, I had updated um, the way that tasks work so that they're faster. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to give you a demonstration of um, just what I mean. So I have uh, Mark Edit 6 here. I have Mark Edit 7 here. So I'm going to go ahead and load a single file. So there's a single file. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to load that same file. All right. And we have inside of each one of these instances a task. It's the same task. This is a real life task. Um, this one is over 100 task items. Lots of stuff in here. All right. All right, so there's that task here, and I am going to, to give Mark at 6 a fighting chance, I'm going to go ahead and get it started right now. Go ahead and start that task. We're going to set this over here and let that run. So over here is Mark at 7. We will go ahead and take a look, and we have the exact same task right here. So we can see it. Here's our task. Okay, so same task, same record. I'm going to go ahead and start the process here. So let's go ahead and run our 100 item tasks. And that's it. Mark Edit 7 is done. Task completes in under a second. Let's go ahead and close that one. And let's go ahead and wait for 6 to finish. One of the things that uh, there were a number of things that changed with Mark Edit 7. I'll let it run in the background while I talk about them. But the biggest thing that changed was how tasks work. So tasks in Mark Edit 6 were really designed um, to emulate a macro recorder. And so materials were processed um, like a macro recorder in that you would record actions. And in the background, uh, Mark Edit 6 would run those actions against the application, which meant that for all intents and purposes, it was like somebody was opening up screens, typing really fast, and running them again. Uh, for Mark Edit 7, I fundamentally changed the way that task works. Uh, they no longer, they, they record like a macro recorder, but they're saved into um, a macro file, a task file, that then um, sent to for processing a uh, broker, and that broker reads the tasks, evaluates all the options that are there, and then as it reads through your file, that broker um, optimizes the process to make sure that it runs in whatever method that's um, going to make it the fastest. Uh, so here we go, task finished. Um, we didn't include a, a runtime for the number of tasks, but it takes roughly, that file that we worked on probably was roughly about a minute, minute and a half to run. Um, and we get the same results. So hopefully, uh, that is a illustration, a very simple one, using a single record um, of how um, the task processing um, in Mark Edit 7 uh, has been changed uh, fundamentally um, to be faster, um, to help you get more work done um, than in Mark Edit 6.